Hey guys, it's Tom Long, film critic for the Detroit News, and this is The Real Deal. We have two movies this week. The first one is Body of Lies with Russell Crowe and Leonardo DiCaprio. This is a Middle East war movie, I have to say, and that will probably keep audiences from flocking to it. It's directed by Ridley Scott, the guy who did Gladiator, Black Hawk Down, Alien, so many great films over the years, and has worked with Russell Crowe a number of times. It's a beautifully made film. I mean, it is really, really nice looking. Um, and of course, DiCaprio and Crow, you have a lot of star power there, and I gotta say, they're both good. Crow especially is excellent. He's playing a sort of gone to seed, he put on 50 pounds for the role, a uh, CIA top honcho who is basically running DiCaprio, who's a CIA agent in the Middle East. And they're trying to track yeah, down terrorists. Guys. Same as every day? You got it. We're here to protect you. You can't even protect yourselves. Have visual, we'll engage. Zooming in. Hey there, little buddy. Hang up the phone. Are you on the line? Yep. Listen, you are attracting attention. Now, I will handle this on my own. It's it. Six o'clock in the morning. Saving civilization, honey. You're working with a guy named Hani Salam. I have one rule with you. Never lie to me. All you gotta do is trust me. You to run an operation when you're running a side operation. Oops. The, the problem here is, is while DiCaprio is very earnest and, and you know, well-meaning essentially, Crow's character just just treats people as pawns, seems to hate people unilaterally, including his own family for that matter. Um, and so it's really kind of the ugly American uh, directing the well-intentioned American, and Lord knows that's the story of the Middle East. Um, it's really long, it's really smart, very smartly put together. There are a couple of key plot things that are too convenient, just too convenient, including a sort of love affair for DiCaprio's um, character. Still, you don't want to miss DiCaprio and Crow together when they are together. A lot of the time they're apart, but when they are together, they're, they're just smoking. And uh, Crow throughout the film is just <laughs> the picture of the ugly American. Um, it's, it's a good movie. I just thought it had some flaws. I gave it a B, but I still strongly recommend it. And don't let the Middle Eastern thing keep you away from it. Um, too many of us are trying to avoid that situation by ignoring it, you know, it's not going to go away. Okay, the, the other movie for this week is The Express, which stars Rob Brown and Dennis Quaid. Brown plays uh, the role of Ernie Davis, a um, black football player in the early 60s who gets on the college team of Syracuse and becomes a phenomenon. He becomes the first black football player to win the Heisman Trophy. It's an inspirational, it's a nice shot of history. Boy, does it show you the intensity of racism in the early 60s. Um, and it's an interesting story. The problem is it's a story you've seen many, many times before. It follows the exact same trajectory as so many sports or civil rights hero movies. You can't say it's bad at all. It's, it's a well-made like film. It's just too familiar like to really set anything on fire. Good morning, sir. Beautiful day, isn't it? But Swartzwalder, he's one of the best coaches in college ball. Move, move, move! What are you smiling at? Right about now, I bet you're wondering what happened to that nice gentleman that begged you to come here, huh? Come on, let's go. What are you guys studying? A little bit of everything. Uh, We're on the football team. In that. I don't really know too much about football. Neither does he. I can't let him treat you like that. I say nothing. I do my talking on the field. Look at that young man go! Syracuse just may have found their next great halfback. In light of what's going on in this country, do you feel added pressure to represent change? When I'm out on that field, I only think about winning the game. But that doesn't mean I don't know the color of my own skin. Um, it, on the other hand, I wish they were showing this movie in schools to, you know, third graders. It's, it's a good, solid film, and it's a good story that's inspiring. I gave it a C plus just because of the familiarity and kind of lack of anything very different about it, but still, a decently made film. So, catch one of them this weekend. We'll talk to you next week.